Hi, my name's David Smith and I'm the CEO uh, and co-founder of Ceres Tag. We're a smart ear tag for livestock, improving provenance and asset management. Just want to acknowledge our, and how grateful we are for our supporters, MLA Donor Company, Queensland Government, James Cook University and Data61 CSIRO. Big green one, right? So I just want to share, we're, we've just hit a milestone and uh, we're very excited and I'm going to play you a short video about what we're doing. So how does it work? Well, uh, this is a good diagram to demonstrate that. On the left-hand side, you'll see there's the accelerometers and temperature for diagnostics. We'll be picking up health, biosecurity, reproduction, uh, heat stress, all with algorithms on, on the actual tag. The GPS side of things produces a whole lot of opportunities as far as mustering efficiencies, land use, uh, theft detection, and of course, uh, one of the big uh, highlights is the finance and insurance opportunities as well, by knowing where your animals are, how many there are, and what condition they're in. The underpinning features that make uh, Ceres Tag quite special is that we've gone back and, and redesigned the retention system uh, so that we've got a much higher retention. Um, the battery never requires changing for the life of the animal. And we operate via low Earth orbit satellite by the time we're going commercial. So that means you don't have to install any infrastructure on your property. You just put the tags on and you'll be able to get the data at your computer. Because of these features, we have aspirations to also be NLIS compliant or accredited, uh, which will start at the second half of next year, the process. And uh, with that, we can align all the data for your individual animal. We put a lot of time and effort into animal welfare. This is a twin pin system, uh, and we, uh, it's three times easier to put in, five times harder to get out. It also uh, has limited uh, contact with the actual animal. The Ceres tag actually, uh, we process the data on the animal, we transfer that via the low earth orbit satellite to our cloud platform, and from there we offer an open API to your existing software management systems many of who we have heard from this morning. That, we did that because we wanted to maximise adoption. We don't want people to have to change their software systems. So where are we at? We've done the 100, well, we're doing the 100 tag trial at the moment. Next will be a 500 tag trial in Central Australia at Aileron Station. It's a million acre property, uh, runs about 8,000 head and uh, it's about 140 kilometres north of uh, Alice Springs. Has uh, pretty dense mulga and some pretty other trying conditions, so it will be a very good test for it. After that, again, we, tr we commence the NLIS accreditation towards the end of next year, uh, then the manufacturing and to market by mid-2020. The team is, uh, well, there's 24 there in the team at this present time. 
Uh, starting from down below, James Cook University, uh, one of the best groups around, or the only IOT degree in Australia. They bring a, a wealth of expertise. The guy down in the right-hand corner, arguably Australia's best um, industrial designer, won three of the five awards this year at the National Awards. He also grew up on cattle farming family. CSIRO, extensive animal science, hardware, software, embedded systems, machine learning, all going into this tag. It's quite, quite a sophisticated piece of uh, equipment. And of course, the Cirrus tag team, the core team, um, great business experience and uh, brings communications, materials engineering, industrial engineering, agriculture and education to the table as well. So it's a fantastic combination team that's uh, of quite a bit of strength. And uh, if anyone would like to see the actual Ceres tag, it's currently on the 100 animals. Here's one here. It, we've got it demonstrated at our stand next door. So thank you very much. <laughs>